match. Hello guys, it's your boy! Because I'm certainly not a girl. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm TaktoMoneyFiX and this is my first proper Black Ops 2 commentary. I got the game uh, yesterday. I decided to talk about one thing, or should I say subject, that has been talked about countless times. But I want to give you guys my opinion on it. And that is, uh, does KD matter? Does kill death ratio matter when you're watching a Call of Duty gameplay? Or any other gameplay, in fact? Well, here's my two cents on it. No, it doesn't. Simple reason for that is, uh, not everyone can get those excellent, amazing kill streaks. Not even I, not even many of you. It's not that simple, it takes a lot of luck. Call of Duty isn't all that much about skill, but sometimes you just gotta get lucky. And uh, I did get lucky in this gameplay. I go 11 and 2 and uh, got my first lightning strike, which makes me quite happy to show you this gameplay of mine. Now, what I look for when I'm watching a Call of Duty video, or any other multiplayer game in general, is that you have a fast-paced gameplay. And I cannot stress that enough, guys. You really need it, because uh, your audience is going to be much more entertained if you run around a map rushing, instead of sitting in a corner or panic crouching. Which happens to me sometimes, don't get me wrong, but uh, I stay away from it most of the time. So guys, what's your take on uh, KD or kill death ratio? How much does it matter to you when you're watching a gameplay? Please leave it in the comment section. So let's continue our commentary now. Yes guys, I like fast paced action. As I've said already, I think it adds a lot of energy to your videos. I think it shows that you are very, how should I say it, very happy playing this game, very carefree. And uh, that is really important because uh, even though you're doing commentaries over your gameplay, people have to watch your gameplay and think, wow, this guy's having fun. I like me some of that. Like me some of that. So I think that's the ultimate goal when you're posting card gameplays. The ultimate goal, of course, being that uh, your viewers find your videos entertaining. Now, one other important thing that I need to address, but I, I'm i not a person to tell you, because my commentary is certainly not anything special, I don't think it's even good, to be quite honest. But yes, your commentary, the person behind the gameplay, needs to have something to say, needs to be enthusiastic. And uh, yeah, for someone like me, that is quite difficult, guys, because uh, in real life I am a very shy person when it comes to girls and stuff like that. I'm not a coward, I'm a very, very brave man, and I have been in some situations to prove that. But I will leave that story for some other time. But I just want to tell you that uh, I can understand if you're starting out your channel or you have a small channel and you still cannot relax doing commentaries. I would suggest just uh, taking your time, because uh, I think it will come. You will get better at it, as I am getting better at it day in and day out, because I am trying. But uh, I do not force myself to do anything. I do it because I love it. And I want to enjoy posting videos for you guys, having a laugh, discussing video games in general. So that was it for today guys, I hope you liked the commentary and see you all next time.